Hey, what's up? It's Dan Weinberger here, CEO of Morpheus Network. Uh, here with a special video for you guys. It's a little bit of a, a platform demonstration. Um, so thought I'd walk you right through, uh, show you a couple cool things that we've been working on. Um, you know, this this demonstration in particular uh, is about um, you know interoperability, uh, being able to leverage different blockchains based on the situation itself. Uh, so I'm going to show you a you know a workflow, a Morpheus Network workflow, uh, kind of run through uh, and, and being you know sort of validated uh, on different blockchains, uh, you know, based on the situation. Based on that the user you know selecting that in this in this situation so um, let me take you right through I'll share my screen uh, and show you guys a little bit of an interoperability demo here we have our login screen of course we'll take you right in here uh, log into my account uh, here we've seen this dashboard many times before uh, shows all the different shipments uh, sort of gives you a good overview for a supply chain manager uh, of what you have shipping moving from what place where it is in the world uh, you know ha have all those sort of handling points uh, and, and different waypoints uh, you know sort of collect into one area you can go directly to specific shipments uh, take a look at some data uh, jump right into the workflows of them so on and so forth uh, so let's get into this inter interoperability that I wanted to show you over here so uh, let's create a new workflow uh, let's call it uh, uh, interop01, and so today's date. Uh, pick templated information just to sort of push forward. Uh, once again, this can be connected to, let's say, uh, an ERP system, uh, and a PO itself can fill in this information. Uh, we have this all templated in uh, for this demonstration in particular, uh, but this data is actually from, from an actual order run through the system as well. So uh, let's save these details and push through to our module selection screen. Um, now, once again, you guys have seen this before, this is the drag and drop interface, extremely easy to use. If we wanted uh, custom documentation, for example, boom, I just drag that in. Uh, if I needed multiple custom documentation for multiple shipments, uh, you know, for, in, for a certain supply chain, uh, you know, a couple different things crossing the border, uh, you can have those generated with, with different data as necessary as well, it's going to two different handling points. But uh, once again, let's stay on topic over here. Uh, let's load up a template that I have over here specifically. Um, uh, for this demonstration uh, that we're going to be using, uh, you know, multiple blockchains in order to, you know, sort of save and validate the information uh, from these specific supply chains. So uh, let's configure these modules here. We have a continual QR. Uh, we'll allow scans after the completion uh, of the workflow itself. And then we'll also hop into our uh, UPS tracking. Now, uh, what we're going to do for this is actually a package uh, that has delivered already. Uh, and we're actually tricking the system in a sense. It's going to check the UPS uh, tracking system and see that the package has been delivered. Uh, based on that, it's going to push the work through, uh, workflow through, uh, complete the module, triggering the next module, uh, which will be a, a text message notification. Um, so let's see here. Let's configure this as well. Let's make that the text message notification after these modules complete. Uh, and what we're going to do to show you something a little bit different, uh, even though we're hashing back to Ethereum, as everyone knows, that's our main chain, that's what our token is based on. For this workflow, uh, we're going to complete it and validate it on the EOS blockchain. So you can see we have our notification that the workflow has started. Uh, we can take a look at the progress uh, of the workflow as well. Uh, so the first thing that's going to happen is that continual QR, that QR code itself, uh, you know, really amazing, uh, you know, technology is going to be sent off. As you can see, that's been completed already. Uh, we can see that this is fully functioning. I'll actually uh, take you out of here, go into my email specifically and pull up a that continual QR itself. Using my phone, I will scan that QR itself. And just to show you here, I'm going to draw a picture, a little bit of a, a bullseye type style picture I'm drawing on there. Hopefully you guys can see that. My phone's just a circle with an X in it. We'll save that. We'll submit that with a continual QR. Uh, then it can take you back to our progress of our workflow. Uh, you can see that the UPS tracking package as well. Uh, now it's validating that, that tracking number through the uh, UPS system. Uh, and actually, if you take a look, uh, you know, at the digital footprint, even at this stage, uh, we can pull up that information over here. Uh, you can see during this journey, uh, the shipment journey over here, that the actual um, continual QR, which was scanned, we have that signature pad over here. 
click on that and see that is the picture that was submitted from the cell phone. Uh, you know, obviously it's not my signature, but uh, it shows that, you know, the versatility of what you can enter there. Go back to our uh, platform itself. Uh, so basically what I wanted to show you over here, uh, so this has all been completed. Uh, we have that shipment that's been completed as well. Uh, and now you can see here, uh, you know, below each one of these completed modules, uh, we have this transaction hash. Uh, and as you recall, uh, we actually obviously uh, had this hashed, uh, selected the EOS blockchain. So if I click on this, I want to see the validation of what's happened with this specific, uh, you know, completion. We can see about 40 some seconds ago, this was completed. Uh, and that specifically was a continual QR scan continual QR module and on the EOS blockchain here we see uh, continual QR code and the actual contract number and the fact that it was completed as well so that's been validated on, on the EOS blockchain uh, with that viewer uh, and now you can see as well actually uh, now that the package has been validated as uh, delivered through the UPS uh, uh, system as well uh, that we got our uh, text message as well, interop test, that message has come through as well. So that's all been completed. Now that's all well and good. Uh, and that's really cool that we've hashed these back. Uh, you can see that UPS tracking as well. It'll take us over to the uh, EOS blockchain viewer. And again, we have the uh, UPS tracking that it's been completed as well. So we have that validation here. Uh, so now let's go back to our, uh, our workflows themselves. Uh, now we have that, uh, that first workflow, the interop 01. Uh, what I'm going to do is duplicate it. We have a second one. Now I'm going to edit that. This one's going to be called number two. We'll update that. Save these details. And we have the same uh, you know, workflow that we've duplicated. You can see how quick that is if you need it to be. Um, you know, being able to just pull up another uh, template reconfigure these modules over here. Paste in our same completed shipment tracking number here. And again, reconfigure our SMS module as well. Uh, interop test two. Doesn't want to say interop, wants to say interpol, I've noticed. All right, let's save that. And now instead of doing the EOS blockchain, you probably noticed that before when I had that drop down menu, uh, we're actually going to complete that uh, in Hyperledger. Uh, so I'm taking Hyperledger as the blockchain of choice to complete all these individual uh, modules. And again, we've uh, you know, started our workflow. Uh, the workflow has been initiated. Uh, we can take a look at the progress uh, of the workflow itself. And while we take a look at that and as that completes and, and you know, these sort of modules get completed and pushed forward and hashed in, on Hyperledger as well, uh, let me tell you why, why that's you know, super important. Uh, a lot of projects that we deal with, um, you know, they have been developing uh, with certain systems, you know, whether it's a hyperledger system, whether they have it, obviously an ERP system that's already implemented, um, you know, for a hyperledger based system, uh, people, we get that question all the time saying, how are you going to, you know, basically run through your workflows and automate, um, you know, these processes and really optimize what people are doing uh, if they've already been building on a hyperledger type system. Now we can actually have information written into the system, their systems that they're currently using. They continue using hyperledger as I will show you here as well. Uh, you know, for this, we're just using it as validation. Uh, you know, the fact that this UPS package was uh, completed, uh, you know, once again, we have that validation, uh, you know, whether it's ne necessary in a system uh, that's already based on Hyperledger, rather based on EOS, uh, already based on Ethereum. Uh, you can see with this, uh, you know, sort of a signature pad as well uh, that I showed you, that's actually storing that image in IPFS. Uh, so we're incorporating a ton of different technologies and, and you know, various DLTs, uh, you know, showing you these, uh, you know, these demonstrations. So as you can see, the continual QR has been sent off as well. Uh, I can actually hop in uh, and see what was written to the Hyperledger blockchain here. So this is, once again, a permissioned blockchain system. Uh, the module, the continual QR, uh, continued with that workflow objective, the fact that it's been completed and shipped off, uh, you know, right here as well. Uh, so we're actually writing to the permission chain. 
Uh, you know, that allows companies once again to continue what they're doing with Hyperledger. Uh, and once again, if this was, you know, a different module, if you used uh, an IoT trigger module, for example, uh, or I, a continual IoT module where we're getting data recorded, uh, you know, from the, let's say the temperature or, or the actual geolocation of, of a unit itself, that is welcome to be included uh, and written back into Hyperledger as we've done, uh, you know, in this specific situation here. So uh, once again, uh, I can hop into my, uh, into my email. Once again, see, this is uh, the second interop uh, QR, which I can hop on and scan again on my phone. I'll continue as guests. I'll write on my, on my phone here. Test two. I don't know if you guys can see that coming out over there as well. Test two. Save and submit. Then we go back into our platform here. Uh, go back into our progress. Uh, you can see that's already been completed. Uh, that UPS tracking as well, uh, it has confirmed that as you can see the shipment has been delivered, which we knew already. Uh, and we're gonna go back to our uh, you know, sort of side chain here, our private Hyperledger side chain, see what was written, UPS tracking. Uh, so once again, guys, I uh, really want to appreciate you taking the time to sort of see what we've been doing. Um, you know, and, and we've had multiple projects. We've been looking to connect into Ethereum, looking to connect to a you know, Hyperledger system. So it's, you know, this makes complete sense. We're following the projects uh, and the clients based on what their, their needs are. So um, really appreciate once again, everyone taking the time. And if anyone has any questions, they can always email me directly, email the team, uh, reach me directly at dan at morpheus.network. And everybody, as always, have a great day.